assalamu alaikum and good morning students so this is professor dr moina akhtar mughal and i am a professor in dr amikazi institute of chemistry um last time we were discussing about uh, the first step of identifying an organic compound so in this section today i am going to discuss the second part because as i have told you before that there are uh, four steps in identifying an any organic compound and what are those steps that is number one was your preliminary examination uh, that includes series of steps which you have done then the next step was your detection of elements that you are going to find out carbon hydrogen nitrogen sulfur and halogens and then the third step is the functional group test right you are going to perform number of different functional find out different tests for the to finding different functional groups right because um, you, you know that when you are um, uh, you have a, an organic compound an unknown organic compound let's say it has number of uh, organic uh, sorry the number of uh, functional groups <laughs> you need to find out what type of functional groups are there and for every each and every functional group there is a particular test to identify that particular compound so you will do that third step and then you will finally jump to the melting point of your uh, unknown organic compound if it's an unknown organic compound and because melting point every organic compound is differentiated from the other one through its melting point no no two Uh, organic compounds have the similar melting points like our names right as i told demonstrated in our labs also i have demonstrated this thing very nicely in the labs also so uh, now the important reactions of uh, these uh, detecting detecting these elements if we talk about that uh, as you know that the organic compounds are all known ionic in nature or covalent in nature so they do not give reactions or double decomposition reactions you can say these organic compounds are changed into their more ionic and water soluble or sodium uh, or potassium salts by fusing them by as you can say with the sodium so metal the solution you are going to get after the fusion is called sodium extract or lessinger's filtrate right and uh, the lessinger's filtrate when you are making it just keep this thing in your mind that it should be colorless it should not be colored if it is colored then you just discard it and again try to go through the all series of steps because you might have done some contamination as i've told you that never put your um, spatulas you never put your things on the tables tables are all contaminated with lot of spilled chemicals um, as i told you that i also work on one of the tables you people are standing today so I've been teaching here since last 23 years. So just see the 23 years span is a very long span. So how many students have up till now have proceeded or have conducted experiments on those tables? So those tables are fully contaminated with spilled chemicals and you are supposed to um you know, protect your work from all that contamination and when you are re- uh, dealing with organic reactions Uh, you can contaminate your uh, whole um, uh, i mean uh, your hard work with anything right and that can spoil all your all the steps so now as far as for nitrogen is concerned you are going to detect nitrogen sulfur and halogen so when nitrogen will combine with the metallic sodium with the carbon of the organic uh compounds forming sodium cyanide whereas sulfur of the organic compound will be present as sodium sulfide in sodium extract whereas halogens will form sodium salts so uh this is how a brief uh, briefly i have uh, explained you and now i will explain you each and every step um how you are going to perform it because in the viral wars or in the mcqs you can be asked these things uh because you have done in the lab i was there and you people few of you were doing i mean three groups who were doing it and they have done and i have the journals lying with me so that means your work was done only one group was left and and for th- that particular one group i am repeating all these things which we have done right thank you very much i hope you will find this uh, video informative will help you out see you in my next video and we'll continue from from here